The Adidas Samba has been around for decades. It was first introduced in 1949 to help soccer players train in icier conditions thanks to the suction cup outsole design. Now with the popularity of lifestyle trainers, this has since transitioned more into a city trekker. I really like this sneaker. The model I have here is the OG colorway or the original. It's supposed to have the same silhouette as the original pair and obviously the same colors. So what you'll find is a white leather upper, black leather striping on the side for the Adidas logo, a little touch of gold lettering on the side denoting the Samba model name, a suede toe box, a dark gum outsole, a little bit of blue on the tongue and a thick set of cotton laces. Overall, as a whole, I really like this design. It's simple, clean, and still has some structure, giving your foot that sporty appearance. I really like how this wears on foot. It's just a clean design. The suede really adds something to the sneaker, changes up the texture, preventing it from being a little bit too boring. And as a whole, the mix of black, white, a little pop of gold, the gray and the dark gum, I really like the way it all works together to create a cohesive silhouette. In terms of quality, these look great out of the box, but I think it's important to remember that these are a $100 sneaker. So you're gonna find some stray stitching, inconsistent cuts, inconsistent stitching, and a little bit of glue squeeze out along the outsole. Nothing too crazy, but just something to be aware of. But honestly, it's fair for what you're paying for these shoes. In terms of durability, again, it's a general release sneaker that comes out $100, so I wouldn't expect too much. It is a leather and suede construction for the OG colorway of the Adidas Samba, but the leather, like most mass manufactured sneakers, is gonna be plastic finished. And this is a way of using lower quality leather while still maintaining a consistent finish across a mass produced sneaker. So just expect these to wear in a little differently than your normal higher quality leather sneakers would. The suede on the toe box is actually really nice. It feels soft, has a ton of texture, and Adidas did use a double stitch on it, so that's always nice. The only real cause for concern, I think, is the gum outsole. It's glued, not stitched. Stitching is something, again, you'll find on more expensive sneakers, so it makes sense why Adidas omitted it here. And honestly, when it does pull away from the upper, just a little dab of glue will have you back up and running in no time. Next, for all those wondering, these do run true to size. I measure a 12 US on the Brannock device, and I bought these in a size 12 US men's. For comfort, these have been great. I'm not using them for their original purpose, so I'm not doing any type of running or kicking a soccer ball around. But for walking and casual wear, this has been great. No hot spots. The sole feels great underfoot. And honestly, they've broken in for me just fine. So nothing to worry about there. I think this is gonna be a sneaker that you can reach for every day and enjoy. If you couldn't tell, I really like the sneaker. It's a simple, clean, iconic design that you can still buy today from Adidas. And it's also not hard to get like many other brands. If you wait long enough, Adidas does a really good job of restocking these. So I would not recommend paying resell. So if you're interested in a pair, I would highly recommend checking them out or picking up a pair. I look forward to wearing my pair more and yeah, hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.